All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about Project 2. Here's your overview. All right, let's turn this around here, take a look at our drawing. A few things. Let's go back to our title block. Okay, we do have Project 2 here. Ah, the material is going to be nylon. All right, um, we have sheet 1 of 1. Okay, so I only have one sheet. Ooh, tolerance, plus or minus 5. We haven't had that one uh, that tight <clears throat> yet. We have unit of measure in inches, so that's good. Our stock size, it looks like 5 eighths um, by 3 by 2 and a quarter. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. We have a 2.9 inch. We have a 2 inch. Okay, so the 2.9 is likely going to be cut out of that 3 here. And then our 2 inch is going to be out of the 2.25. So we got plenty of material to cut off here uh, and 5 eighths. So it looks like they, the engineer's done a good job of getting some notes here. Uh, a few things we're going to have to find out and calculate. We have a drill, and it looks like we're going to do a quarter 20 thread. So we're going to have to check out our drill chart and figure out what that is. Also a drill here for a 3816 thread. Okay, so that's, that's kind of good. Um, we have hole number three, which is also a 3816. 16 thread as well so it looks like and it's the same thread type 3816 unc-2b 3816-2b so good news is is once we figure out that uh, diameter drill we'll be able to get that but listen over here in the shop we have our chart and it has all the information here we have drill sizes and such but generally speaking you're just going to need a regular drill chart here um, and then, of course, there's some up on the walls as well. But let's take a look at the first one here. We have the quarter 20 that we're trying to find. So we can take this drill chart here, flip it over, go down and find our quarter 20. And that's a number 7 drill, which is a 201. So we're going to write that down. We're going to go number 7, and then we can put over here 0.201. And then for our 3816 thread that is in both of these locations here and here, we're going to do 3816, that's going to be 5 sixteenths or 0.3125. So we're going to go 5 sixteenths, 0.3125. And then we're going to go 5 sixteenths, 0.3125. Okay, so that way we can go ahead and do some calculations as far as our speeds and feeds. So let's talk about that for a moment. I'm going to walk back over here. <clears throat> we're going to take a look at it and we're going to do some drilling and machining. Now it's interesting because we have nylon this time. All right, so now we're going to be, when we're doing drilling, it's going to be 165 times 4 divided by the diameter. And when we're machining, it's 200 times 4 divided by the diameter. So keep that in mind, 165 and 200. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to say 165 is drill, and 200 is machine. And then that way we can go ahead and do those calculations. So let's do one real quick, just as an overview. We're going to do a 201, which is a number 7. Um, that's going to be a drill. So very simply, it's going to be 165 times 4 divided by 0 0.201. Over here we have our calculator. So it's 165 times 4 equals 660. So that's 660 divided by 0 0.201 equals, and then that's, wow, okay. So <clears throat> 0.201, it gives us a 3283. Um, and that, of course, is the maximum RPM. We're not going to run anything that quick, uh, but just gives you an idea of where we are with that. All right, so at least we have our information here. We have some, some basic information. We have our stock size. Now we're going to figure it out going over to the saw, get our blank, and then we can start going through some of the other details.